continue from where we stopped last week. We're on our series, Summoned to, to Serve. Praise the Lord. So for, for a subtopic today, how to experience what God has made a reality in your life. For a subtopic. So what I'm saying is that something is real, but you're not experiencing it. So how do you experience that? Okay. It means that there are things that are in your spirit. For instance, um, health is present in your spirit. But sometimes you find yourself fall sick. It's different from when you, you're sick because you mismanaged your body. You abused your body in terms of you didn't rest. That's different. Although you're supposed to be wise. There is prosperity in your spirit. There is favor in your spirit. There's abundance in your spirit. How do you experience it on record time? So let's begin with the prayer. Paul prayed for his friends in Philemon chapter 1 verse 6. Shall we read together? I want to go. That the communication of your faith may become effectual by the acknowledging of every good thing which is, which is in you in Christ Jesus. Okay, so let's begin by examining the three words. The first one is communicate. The second word is effectual. The third word is acknowledging. That scripture says the communication of your faith may, read from with me, the communication of your faith may become effectual by the acknowledging of every good thing which is in you. So let's examine the first word. The first word is the word communicate. The word communicate is the same word transfer. The word communicate is the same word release. Every day you do this, you do a broadcast. You have a broadcast list. What are you doing? You're communicating that you have open heavens or you have... Uh, your birthday is coming, you go to the internet, you communicate to us. So you understand that. So the first word means to communicate. So when you are communicating, what you are saying is that I am releasing or transferring to you what God has spoken in my life. What God has made real in my life, I am communicating it to you. Put that scripture so when you say the communication of your faith, you are saying, I am releasing, transferring, broadcasting, transmitting what God has said to me so that you will all hear. At our pastor's retreat today, one of our daughters stood to tell us the prophetic word she received. She communicated to us the word restore. Yesterday, another one stood up and she communicated to us how she had beautifully experienced another person. So when you say, I am communicating my faith, you are saying, I am sharing, I am transmitting, I am broadcasting what the Lord has spoken to me or what he has made real in my life. That's the first word. The second word is the word effectual. Effectual means producing an intended effect. When you say something is effectual, you're saying that the thing has a capacity to produce an intended effect. Or you say that the thing is working or the thing is producing. That's what it means to say something is effectual. Effectual means, you use the word effectual to describe something that is successful in producing results. Write it down. Something is successful in producing results. The thing is, if you say, ah, this microphone is effectual, what you're saying is that the work is intended to do, it can do it. Let's take the third word. The third word is acknowledge. Acknowledge, it means to admit to be true or real. To recognize that something is true or real. Those are the three words that is going to surround everything we're going to say today. So, now that you put it in writing, bring out that scripture. That the communication of your faith. 
that the transferring and transmitting and releasing what the Lord has done in your life or what he has made real in your life will produce something successful. <laughs> then he now says, I will now acknowledge what good thing the Lord has done for me. That's the only thing we're going to share today. So we're going to take... Question number two becomes... Two ways your faith can produce an intended effect. How can my faith produce intended effect? Remember the word communicate. Remember the word effectual. Remember the word acknowledge. <laughs> this faith that they are talking about, my reliability, my believing that God is reliable, how can he produce something in the physical world so that my eyes can see it? There are two ways. The Bible says, by his stripes you are healed. That reality is not a physical reality. It's a spiritual reality. Let me give you some scriptures on some things that God has promised you. On prosperity. Let's take one. My God shall supply my needs according to the riches in glory. It's not real in the physical world. But that is not real in the physical world does not mean that it's not real. It's just that it's real in, in the realm that you're not using your eyes to see it. Let's look at another scripture. The blessings of the Lord makes rich and adds no sorrow to it. So which means if there's anything called the blessing of the devil, he makes poor and adds sorrow to it. I can't find another word. To, I don't want to say the cause. I just want to the, the cause of the devil. I want to say the blessing because it's not every open door that is your door. Pastor Ben preached it. He did say, "I'm going to forward that that sermon. That sermon, prophet, prophetic significance of 59. I will forward it to everybody. Every day I will forward it to you again." He said, "What are the things you are going to expect this year?" He mentioned lifetime assignment. He mentioned humility. Now he mentioned open doors. Then he gave a a caveat. Please, every open door is not your door. Are you ready? Let's move on. So, I said, the blessing, the Lord supplies my needs are going to riches in glory. You look at your life, you see lack. So, that reality is not present as we are here. It's present in another world. That is present in that world, Pastor Peter, does not mean it is not real. As we are sitting down here now, there are uh, uh, network frequencies from radio, from your telephones going on here. You can't see your kidney, you can't see your liver, you can't see your intestine. That you do not see it does not mean it does not exist. None shall lack a mate is a reality that is not real here. It's a reality that is real in the spiritual world. What are the ways you can push it from that spiritual world and bring it where you can use it? Two ways. So, the first one, by the communication of your way, faith. The two ways that your faith can produce an intended result. Communicate the good thing that God has done in your life. Bring that scripture. Communicate the good things the Lord has done in your life. Number two. Acknowledge every good thing that the Lord has done in your life. The two ways your faith can produce intended result. Communicate what the Lord has done in your life. Number two, acknowledge the good thing that God has done in your life. What does communicate mean again, friends? Communicate means what? To release, to transfer, to transmit, to broadcast. That is communicate. What does acknowledge mean? To admit. So when I said the two ways to get your faith to produce intended result, and I said the first one is to communicate your faith, what do I mean? Release what the Lord has done in your life. Stop saying what everybody is saying. Communicate your faith. By his tribes, I am healed. Communicate it. Don't communicate it because it has happened. That it is in the realm of the spirit 
does not mean it has not happened. For you to push it, convey it from the realm of the spirit, where you can use it in the realm of the physical is communication. Broadcast it, transmit it, keep saying it, keep saying it, keep saying it. It's the communication of your faith. Some of us are waiting to see healing in our bodies before we start talking health. Some of us are waiting to see prosperity in our bodies before we start talking prosperity. Communicate it. That thing you see that the Lord has done in the Bible, start communicating it. The second one is admit it to be true. Admit that it is true. Accept. Admit. Accept that, that this thing that the Bible says, I accept it that it is true. Don't be arguing whether it is God that said it or Satan that said it. Hey, they say Nigeria will be better now. Nah? They say Nigeria will be better. That's what they said when my father was a baby. That's what they are saying. Ah, that one don't pass. Nigeria is completely finished and over. We're going to bring another matter. Your child is misbehaving. Communicate. If you don't have a prophecy, communicate the name that you gave him. His name is praise. If he's behaving so long, continue to call him praise. Don't communicate your experience. Communicate that invisible reality and go back in your heart and admit that it's true. So I'm going to do case studies on these two things. The first case study is John chapter 1 verse 16. Yeah, want to go. Let's read it. Beautiful. So, what is the lesson? Communicate, accept, and acknowledge that we have all received his fullness. Pastors, communicate it, accept it, communicate it, accept it, acknowledge it, communicate it, admit it, accept it. This thing is past tense. He said, and of his fullness, have we all received grace for grace? Now, there are some things we do out of ignorance. We say Elisha received double portion anointing. That was what was available for them at that time. The, the anointing that Elijah had was limited. So if someone had uh, three, how many can you take from inside? So Elisha had to take only two because it is limited. It is not like the one of Jesus. The Bible says, he said, of the fullness of the, and of his fullness have we all received past tense. Grace to grace. I want you to accept, transmit, broadcast, release, admit that you have the fullness of grace. I won't define what grace is at this level. I will define it as we go through. Case study. Do you have the fullness? Do you have his fullness inside you? Someone will say no. You are saying no because your five senses have communicated otherwise. However, in your spirit, which is the real you, you have the fullness of God there. Your ears, your nose, your eyes, all your physical senses. Where is Angolia and Victoria again? I used them last week. All your physical senses must hear that you have the fullness of his grace. Can you quickly, quickly run, run up? Where is spirit here now? This is spirit. Okay. This is spirit. This is what? Body. Okay, body. Yeah. Now, devil, they use body. The body is not bad. Ron, give me those two waters. During Elisha's time, he had small. Possibly, would you water for me? This is the fullness of grace Elisha has. Elijah, please, if he's going to give, how much of this is he going to give anybody? Yeah, it was from here. This is, it is the container that will determine what Elijah received. Stop asking for double portion anointing. That one is in the Old Testament. The Bible is not talking about double portion. Say, well, today is we are going to receive double portion. You are limiting yourself. The Bible says, of the fullness of his grace of the fullness we are receiving so you must constantly communicate it you must constantly admit that it is working let's go back to 
the body does not have, give, give me that, give me that water, full it, full it. It is the spirit that has that info. It is the spirit that has that reality. Quickly, 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 quickly. I have limited time because I'm going to need the people to pray. The f- spirit, spirit has fullness. Body has not. So, when you are saying you have the fullness of grace, understand. you have the fullness of grace. I don't understand. Do you don't blame the body. The body doesn't have it. What is grace? Grace is God's willingness to show his ability on your behalf. The spirit has it. So what do you need to do? You have to use your mouth to start telling the body, we have the fullness of God's willingness to show his ability until this person agrees with you. That's what this war is. The Bible says what we are fighting is the fight of faith. Communicate it. Accept it. Admit it. Acknowledge it until you draw the body to it. That's the first case study. Let's go to the second case study. The second, second case study. You will see still here. Second Peter chapter 1 verse 1. What do you need to do? Communicate and accept that in your spirit you have received the same measure of faith, the same measure of power, the same measure of wisdom, and the same measure of ability as Jesus. Communicate to your body that you have the same measure of faith, the same measure of power, the same measure of wisdom, the same measure of abundance like Jesus. Your body needs to hear it. So what is our proof? Want to go? Simon Peter, a servant and apostle of Jesus Christ, to them that have obtained like precious faith, the word precious the word to them that have obtained like precious faith, the word like precious faith is actually the Greek word that says equal in honor, equal in value. Therefore, the same spirit that is in Jesus is the same that is in you. The same ability that is in Jesus is the same ability that is in you. The same abundance that is in Jesus is the same abundance that is in you. The faith that Peter used is the same that is given to you. The same that Paul used is the same that is given to you. The body is unaware. What should you do? Admit it. And begin to release it. Communicate it. It is this communication that produces the intended result. Are we together? Another scripture. Now, let me tell you something. Let's go. At the new birth, this one is perfect. This one is mature. This one is complete. Everything that the Bible has ever promised you, everything ever read in the Bible, at the new birth, it became complete here. So when Pastor Ben says, we will emerge healthy, wealthy, and, and prosperous. It's your spirit that has it. Your spirit must communicate it. You, you now, that you are hearing with your ear, you will admit that emata, emata no, it is true. You will admit. So when you admit, the body go to shake and say, na lie, na lie, na lie. Which can help? Which can help? Which can help? Can't you see diabetes in my body? Your body will st- be shaking your head like this. Still keep communicating until the body accepts it as true. Hey, kalabaroshi katiri. You see this body. If I say, ah, Anguli is wet with water. If she doesn't feel the water in her body, her brain will shut down and call it a lie. I now say, God has poured so much water on Anguli. She looks around. There's no water at all. She will use her mouth and say, Oh, to it will talk like. Because the job of your body is constantly disagree with God. The Bible said the flesh profits nothing. <laughs> and the Bible said the flesh and the spirit are always fighting. So what do you need to do? You stand here, I declare in the name of Jesus that by his stripes 
I have been healed. You may need to say for 10 years. You may need to say for 10 days. You may need to say for 30 years. Keep saying it. Admit it and keep saying it. The body will soon agree with the soul. Let's take another scripture. We're only case studies. We're only case studies. You know the Bible says that God has given you everything. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. All other things shall be added unto you. In other words, everyone who is in the kingdom of God has righteousness, peace, and joy. And you tell yourself, I don't, how can I have peace in this kind of country? What are you doing? You are admitting that what the devil is saying about you is correct. Remember, it's always being done unto you according to your faith. Another case study from scriptures. Are you ready for this? Communicate and accept that God is willing to bless you. Communicate and accept that God is willing. Say God is willing. Say God is willing. Say God is willing. Do you know what willing means? Do you know what it means to be willing? The person is ready to do something. That's what willingness is. Let's take a scripture for it. Let's do a case study with these scriptures. Second Peter chapter 1 verse 2. Second Peter chapter 1 verse 2. So, so, spirit, hold the fullness. Body, hold nothing. Let's read together. Grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of God and of Jesus Christ. This thing I'm saying is present in your spirit. What is grace? Grace is God's willingness. This is Charles Capp's definition. To use his power and ability on your behalf even though you don't deserve it. So God's willingness to use his power and ability on your behalf, even though you don't deserve it. That's what grace is. What is peace? Peace is shalom. Nothing missing, nothing broken. Even if something is missing, something is broken, you are able to return back to resilience. I taught you that when I was teaching you trauma. It, it can be multiplied. How? The multiplication comes. The more you know God, the more grace and peace is multiplied. Eh? Not the more. It is not on, you didn't fast. You didn't pray. You didn't all of that. The more knowledge of God that is revealed to you, not religious knowledge. You can be a professor in Bible knowledge and you don't know the Lord. Revelation means something that is happening. Revelation means encounter. When you say someone had an encounter, what you're saying, is that if I slap her holy now, is an encounter. She can describe it. As a guest, I tell her, I'm describe slap. She'll say, something will hit you. It will pain you. Don't say, that, that is different. <laughs> if I give her a slap, she can say, ah, mama slap me, you do a why. <laughs> She's trying to explain an experience. It's different from saying someone slapped me. That's the difference between a religious knowledge professor and someone that has an encounter with the Bible. So when it says grace and peace be multiplied, he said by the knowledge, not by religious knowledge. He said by it happening to you. You know people say Nigeria happened to them. They are trying to say something. But Nigeria is a good country. You must communicate it. Forget your experience. Your experience is what your flesh said, what your eyes saw, what you felt. That's your experience. Communicate what your spirit knows. Communicate what is in the middle. Grace and peace is multiplied unto me every day. So as you have come to church now, you have known a little bit more about God. So grace and peace is multiplied. You go on your own. You open the Bible. You meditate, grace and peace is multiplied. You were at the open heaven this morning, grace and peace is multiplied. Each time, every minute, every iota of God you come to know, grace and peace is multiplied unto you. Hallelujah. But you have to go back to that first scripture we use. The communication of your faith may become effectual. So your faith will produce the intended result if you communicate and admit that what the Lord, what the God has said is true. Very simple. I don't have any other message. Tell your neighbor, communicate, communicate. 
Tell your neighbor, tell them, transmit this thing, transmit it. Tell someone, broadcast it, broadcast it. You see why Pastor Bai said you should stop broadcasting nonsense? Let's take another. Now, look at where we are missing it. Look at where we are missing it. Many of us believe that God will do something, but we don't believe that God is willing. Edna, you believe that God will, will heal you. But is he willing to heal you now? Is he ready to heal you now? So you believe that I will pray. God will answer. God is willing to answer my prayer. Do you have the same knowledge that even you, not only does he have the ability, but he is in a hurry to do it as we are sitting down here. He wants to. He's excited to. He loves you to the point that when you call him, he will answer a million times. To accept that God is willing is where our challenge is. We think that God's willingness is based on our performance. Everybody pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. God is eager. He's prepared to. He's not just, he doesn't just have the ability. He's ready. He wants to do it. Everybody pray in the spirit. We're going to pray very shortly. in the precious name of Jesus. So, let's look at this point. All your Christian experience is about learning how to manifest what is here. That's all you're doing. After giving your life to Christ, you went to school. You were trained in school. You were trained in school. They taught you when you're having pain on your head, what to call it. Yeah, too much. When you are feeling pain in your leg, what do you call it? If you fall, what will you say? You learned it in school. In fact, you tell your children, crying is not a means of communication. Use your mouth and tell me what is going on. What are you doing? You were training them to communicate. Why are you sad? This body has been this body has PH degree on this I'm talking about. Serious. PA degree. Your spirit. Can I get a soul? Your spirit has everything. It is this guy who is now your soul that we need to retrain to take what is happening here and use it to re-educate this place. So, yes, to, yes, thank you. This is the transmitter. Transmit that you have joy. Transmit that you have peace. Transmit that you have everything that leads to life and godliness. This is a transmitter. This is the, uh, this is the one that will admit it. So, as you're sitting down here, all the money you are looking for, for which you're not able to pay your house rent, you have it. As you're sitting down here, what we will do for this country to change, you have it. What? Listen, you have, as you're sitting down here, you have the knowledge. How many of you are trying to start businesses? You have been trying to download um, ideas. You have it. Who should you marry? Where does the person stay? You have it. What is uh, Tinibu's phone number? You know it. Yes. Thank you. You know it. To manifest the power of God to remove cancer and everything. You have it. Where is that bottle I gave you? You have it. But you see this guy? The transmitter has been following this person who knows only limit. This person, your body, anything your body cannot feel, he disagrees with it. Anything he cannot see, he disagrees with it. 
Anything he has not heard with his physical ears, he disagrees with it. Anything he cannot sense, he disagrees with it. You will now come and say, oh, you are looking for one billion. You know where it is. <laughs> How much is in your account? 200,000. 20,000. You are talking about one billion. Never will see one million. Say one billion. Nothing. He said, he has admitted. He said nothing. So, so you can, at old age, you can die with all the power and all the solutions inside you. Because the transmitter was not trained not to listen to this guy who only works with what he sees, what he hears, what, he, what they tell him. It's five senses. So when Thomas said, except my eyes see, I will not believe. He's talking with sense knowledge. Jesus brought out his hands and the silly Thomas Sorry, no, my papa. Sorry, Thomas, you know, be silly. Thomas actually touched and said, Hey, not true. Meanwhile, Jesus had been saying all the while that when he dies, he will resurrect. Thomas heard it and ascended with his head and nodded and said, It is true. When the push came to show, he says, A lie. He only emerged healthy, wealthy. And prosperous. Oh, yeah. You see, the body, the emotion, you hear them, you sweep for ear. Your body will hear prophecy. I will, I die about la 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 la. As you just reach that door. How much is Sadi? 1,000. Hey! 1,000. You see, this is what I'm talking about. So the rest of your Christian experience, all I want you to do from today is start retraining this guy. Not with this information. Retrain this guy with the information that your spirit has. If you want to see the manifestation of God's power, God's abundance, God's provision, start renovating your mind. So that your mind will start seeing the potentials. Where is that button? This thing, your, your physical body can never see it. But your mind will be able to pick up the information from the spirit and say to this guy, oh, we have the fullness of grace. And he say, hey, is it true? So as this guy, he just draws him out. Then you will see the abundance in your body. That's why he says the communication of your faith becomes effectual by the acknowledging of the good things that God has done for you. Everybody pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. Go with me. Say today, I acknowledge what Jesus has already done in my life. Today I acknowledge the good things in me that Jesus did for me. Today I acknowledge that the power of the Lord is manifesting in my life. Say it one more time. That's how to produce supernatural results. Constantly acknowledge it. Forget your body. Your body no get sense. Everybody pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. Helebarasi karabariotos karabariata la baroshe kete. Rekatoria sakarabachiro koto. Rekatoria salia roba skere baria tosh skere baria ta. Rekatoria balabara bato kaskere bario koshere kate. Rekatoria salia tosh skere baria toshere kate. Rekesele katoria salakata raba laba bala bate. Ruskero bati ere kalia toshere bara baba la bate. Rekatoria seria tora kara bala bara bato. Rekatoria salia kata raba chiro koto rekate braka shere kate. Rekatoria Salia Barabato Koskerebate Carabarios Corobati Recadiata, Recatoria Balabarabato Koskerebadiata, Recatoria Talabarobas Kerebadiata, Recate Prabarabarabato Caskerebaria Tosorocoche, Recatoria Balabarabarabato Caskerebaria Toskerebariata, Recatos Kerebaria Tosere Cateria Sali Barabarabata, Recatos Kerebaria Tosorocoche, Recate Crabario Coche Recate. In the precious name of Jesus. So it's a very simple work you're going to be doing now. Very simple. That you're going to take your time and deal with this guy. Pastor was preaching many years ago. He said, you know 
your mind is renewed. When the impossible, when the impossible things, the impossible things, once they become possible, you know your mind is renewed. You know your mind is renewed. When you look at, you know, you know the Bible says Sarah laughed. Before I used to mock Sarah, Mama Sarah, sorry. I used to mock Sarah that how can God be saying something to you, be laughing? Until I realized that when her flesh heard it, that at what age? 90 years. You're going to bear children. They bought the boss laughter. It happens to you every day. They say, get ready. This is our year of emerge. We are emerging into wholeness, into greatness. Get ready. You come to church, you pick up a prophetic word. The prophetic word says, something good is coming your way tomorrow. You will thrive no matter what happens. The flesh said, me then leave that matter. Now today, now today, the woods are big, get man, forget. <laughs> and you know, you actually think it's normal. You go away using abnormal things as very normal things. They say God wants to talk to you. Say, ah, God wants to talk to people like me. <laughs> you have to go to the mountain to spend 21 days. I'm not saying that if you go to the mountain, God will not hear you. But God is so close to you, my sister, that he's talking to you on per second billion basis. But because your mind has been programmed by a shower video, that when God wants to talk to you, the angel will rub white chalk in front of you and come out and fly like this and fly like that. And fly. Ah! I say, hey, God is talking now. Tell yourself, I need to renew my mind so that I can hear what God is saying to me. So let's conclude what we should do. Let's take a scripture that we all know Romans chapter 12. Are you going to say that you're tired? Mm hmm. Spirit do the tire now. Spirit do the tire. Now you see this thing she said. She has to say it over time. The communication of your faith, the releasing and the transmitting of your faith. Listen, your faith is invisible. You need to communicate it. You need to say it and then admit it. Say it. Admit it. Say, then it will produce the intended result. Don't borrow someone's own and fly. They say I should communicate. They say I should communicate. You'll be talking something that you have not admitted. You must admit it. Listen. Pastor Ben taught us something. He said when you're watching a movie, your brain records it as that is happening there. I, did a, I read a research. A neurosurgeon was saying, that the moment you register that you have pain in your body that is you think about it your body will register it as happening so that's how the enemy deceives us that you're looking at the television you see someone they're treating cancer as you're watching that thing your entire system says, ah what this cancer that is passing so this cancer that is passing your body will begin to think about you lying there in the hospital and that kind of thing happening to you as you do that on a consistent basis you are actually fermenting and building sickness in your body you sit down and think about the day tribu will so fail that everything in Nigeria will fail the police will fail they are, you use your head and imagine war you know what is happening? Your entire system will admit to you be in that way alone. No, God forbid. <laughs> now, even if you're not in the country, you say, ah, they have fallen, they have fallen, they have fallen. Listen to me. You're, you are a spirit. And the spirit produces life. Whatever you give attention, after some time you will admit it as happening. Yeah. And once you admit it as happening, it will now produce the intent. Everybody pray in the spirit. I want us to pray. The communication of your faith may become effectual by the acknowledgement of every good thing that does it. So everybody pray in the spirit. Let's conclude and pray. Hey. So I give you a choice. In Romans chapter 12 verse 1 to 2. 
Forgive me if I stoop quickly because of time. I give you a choice as we close. Read verse 2. Want? Yes. Be not is a choice. Is a choice. Conform means to be poured into a mold and to take the shape of the mold. Simple. So, where's, you see this water? It has been conformed. If you pour it here and put it in a rectangle, it will be conformed too. To be poured into a mold. Listen, the Bible says in this world you have tribulation. In life you have pressure, normal. I want you now to make up your mind. If you will take the form of that, pre that pressure, how? By communicating the pressure, admitting the pressure, you will now take the form of the pressure. Now, all this thing is happening in the invisible world, though. We won't see it. It is when it manifests in your body that we will see what you have been going through. So, everything you see in your life, the enemy will want to throw it here and make you believe you are the one thinking about it. You are the establishing weakness. In the mouth of three weaknesses, every matter shall be established. So, when the enemy throw it to you, that's first weakness. He needs you to establish that what he has said is true. So, if he throws it here in the invisible world, he says by himself, you're evil. Where? Ah, why do they deceive yourself like this? Tell yourself the truth. Let's have integrity here. Let's have integrity. You know, if you go by that, it means that God lied. God lied. Gideon, almighty man of valor. Is Gideon a mighty man of valor as you take your eyes here? Not to lie with that. Am I talking to someone? Sarah, you are a mother of nations. An old woman without a child. Is that not a lie, sir? What about the person that the child had died? Is everything, is anything well? He said it is all is well. Is that not a lie? Because you are speaking from the physical realities. By the time you use the physical things to compare the spiritual things, you are lying. How can Papa Chidume with, with NYSE canvas, NYSE canvas, he said, I'm, I'm ruling nations with NYSE canvas. It's not a lie. How can you, without any help, you say you have a destiny help us? It's as I'm, as I'm talking to you now. Fem Foundation is the most generous church in the world. Some of you know that you don't you give nothing. In fact, when you go to where they are giving, you worry more than everybody. And your pastor is shouting, you are the most, is that not a lie? But God calls things that be not as though they were. That's the communication of your faith. Everybody communicate your faith to me now. Communicate your faith. 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 Hey. Do not conform any longer. Give me that scripture. This is one mold. Bring me another bottle. One mold. When life pressure comes, this is one mold. This is another mold. When life pressure comes, the devil will present a mold for you to take form. Conform. God has a mode for you to conform. The choice is yours. So during COVID, I was asking your pastor, are you afraid? He said, God told me that as long as I pray, there's nothing to fear. So every morning, you see, he would dress as if he's going for care for his last Where are you going to? God told me that as long as I pray. So they, there was no offering, sir. The staff rent was paid throughout the rent or the salary was paid throughout the district. 
God told me. So either he took the mold of COVID-19. There is services. There is no offering. There is no tithe. We are finished here. God, everything is gone. Oh, yeah. one mode the second mode God told me as long as you pray during this COVID-19 I will take care of everything so while COVID-19 were raging they said nobody should come outside nobody if you come out you collect if you God told me so he took the form he took this mode he conformed to what God told him that is, he communicated his faith by his action. He admitted that what God said is true. And throughout COVID-19, you were not coming to church. And salaries were paid. It is I think I'm finished. I can show you another scripture. So, if you the choice is yours to stay defeated or to stay victorious, you have the choice. The communication of your faith. Do not conform to the patterns of your Be it transformed. The word transform is what metamorphosis. Metamorphosis is you know that thing that happens in caterpillar. Bring that first scripture again. Bring that first scripture. Let's see to close. We're gonna bring that first scripture again. The communication of your faith. The more you are declaring what the Lord has told you, you know what you're doing? You're behaving like caterpillar. You're going from one stage of development to another stage of development to another stage of development. Boom! All of a sudden, people will see you flying. But it started from caterpillar. As you are communicating your faith, you are going through transformation. You are communicating your faith, admitting, communicating, admitting. Communicate, admitting, communicating, admitting, communicating. It is producing the intended result. That's why the Bible says, He said, do, do, do not confirm those patterns of be transformed. We are not seeing the transformation. But all of a sudden, we see the butterfly boa. It's like when you take a seed and plant it on the floor, nobody knows what is going on there. But it's going through transformation. Bam! You just see the tree. It's not the day you saw the tree that the transformation started. It started at the point of breaking under. Something is going under. You know, Pastor preached on Sunday. He said, listen, for you to have transformation, he said, as a living sacrifice, they bring you on the altar and they remove your head. Listen to me. This head you have been using, it doesn't produce supernatural results. It produces common sense. Common sense is good to solve common problems. But you have not been called to solve common problems. You have been called to solve complex problems. It will not need common sense. It will need a complex sense. At that level, the body doesn't have it. It is this person that has it. Where is my husband? The body doesn't have it. All the body will tell you. You see, you don't have a husband. You're getting to 46. Husband will say, not come. Just time has gone. Forget about it. Don't worry. Uh, what you just do now is to go and just uh, find someone that will keep pregnant to you or go and buy something to just give yourself pregnant. It does not work. It's okay. He said, it's true. It's really true. It's true. What did God say to you? When did we stop hearing businessmen? If they, so they, because they say you're a businessman, they say you're secular. Huh? Entertainers. Because they did, there's no pastor in front of your name. Bankers. What did God say? The Bible said, when Mary heard what God said, she put it in her heart. She was not seeing it. She was not seeing it. She, based on what God said to her, she went to see Elizabeth. Look at that. The one you read on the internet is the one you're using. He said, 500 people have done it. They did well. The communication of your faith, Ada, has the capacity 
to produce great result. But you have to admit that God is real and God is true. So today, I receive, I release. Say it again. Say today, I lift up my hands. I receive renewal. I release it. So today, I take what God said to me. I release it. I declare God is right about me. My faith is producing intended results. But I must communicate it. I must admit it. Everybody rise on your feet. What a wonder you are, my shelter and peace. You Let me to die Still you keep